Good morning. I'm still in my PJ attire, but I did put pants on for you guys, just so no one would be startled with a pantsless mom on the internet. I'm sure a lot of weirdos would love that, but um, we are making eggs this morning. That is really me and Scarlett's go-to breakfast. I already had protein coffee this morning, so I just, I drink decaf coffee because I told y'all I am like so sensitive to caffeine. But I add usually like two scoops of collagen in it and my favorite little peppermint mocha creamer from Califia Farms. Um, so I had that, then I had a layer bar, which uh, you guys, if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with them. I really shouldn't have had that like first because it spikes your blood sugar, but I already had the protein coffee, so I thought it was fine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I normally do five eggs, so like two and a half eggs for me, two and a half eggs for Scarlett, but Scarlett's been a piglet lately, so we're just going to do a third because like I'll make eggs and she'll finish them in two seconds and be like, more eggs? And I'm like, why didn't make more eggs? So that's what's been happening. I swear I'm, I'm still here. I'm just rinsing my hands because they got egg yolk on them. Scarlett, we just had a banana. Are you crazy? More. More banana? I know you're so hungry, but I'm in the middle of making eggs for us, okay? Um, we're not afraid of fat around here. I love some Kerrygold yeah. butter. Do that one. We just had one. Do you want it? Do you want to wait though till our eggs are done? You want a big smoothie? No. Let's show everyone our blender. I'm going to show you guys in one second. I'm just going to get these. What's wrong? Did you just pinch your finger? I got to get the eggs on the pan and then I will show you guys. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the best blender in the world because there's definitely flaws to it. So I'm not saying like go out and get this, but I do like it. I'm a sucker for good marketing, like an aesthetic campaign and an aesthetic brand, and that's what this brand did to me. So it looks nice in my kitchen. Not that my kitchen is even a nice kitchen, but um, it is the Beast Health brand blender. And it just goes on. I don't even feel like picking it up, but it just goes on like a cute little motor. It's okay, Bubba. Storm's right here. Hi. Um, wow, you found tons of water bottles. Wow. Um, anyway, I like it. I rated a six or seven out of 10. Complaints, or I should say shortcomings, are it's small. So I like to make like a big smoothie that Scarlett and I share. Um, and as Storm gets older and can eat food, I would make an even bigger smoothie so that we can all three share it. And like the amount of stuff I like to stuff into a smoothie, it's just, this, this doesn't, it's not big enough. Um, and the max capacity line is like pretty low on it. So, cause I wanna stuff all the leafy greens in there, all the frozen fruits, all the powders and butters, nut butters and all that stuff. So anyway, I do feel like it's limited on how much I can actually fit in it. And I do have a hard time, even when I follow their instructions for like the order to put stuff in like liquid first or ice first or whatever it is, even if I follow that to a T, it still is very difficult to blend everything and it takes Hello. way longer than it should. Hello. 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 When Scarlett was little, we taught her how with like a old paper towel roll, you would just go, Hello. And now, is this your microphone? Is this your microphone? Hello. 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 Say hello, YouTube. Hello, Scarlett. She calls herself Scarset, and it's so cute. Well, that was wholesome, Scarlett. I love you, and I'm glad I got that on camera. I always, those are like the little moments that I always want to get on camera, and you know, it's like, you don't want to ruin the moment, and you never are just like waiting for that to happen. You want a blue one. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. We're gonna eat some, we're gonna eat some breakfast, and then I'm gonna, put like a sports bra on or something, <laughs> some actual shirt. And then we're gonna go on a little family hi. walk for my, hi, for my um, movement today because it'll be that, maybe some deep core and some stretching because mama is hurting. Okay, 
Baby Storm needs some milk. So I'm going to give him milk before I eat. So I'm sure my eggs will be cold by the time I eat them. But I got like half an avocado, three eggs made with butter, plus a bunch of uh, cherry tomatoes. Scarlett doesn't seem to like cherry tomatoes, but I'll still try to show her one and see if she'll eat it. She's got basically the same thing plus some cheese. So we are having a very delicious, nutritious breakfast. Right, Scarlett? Is it so good? Mm. Oh, that was a big bite. You're trying it with the avocado too. You missed it, but she tried a tomato and loved it. You just, that's like something I always tell other mamas who say their kids are picky. You just gotta eat the same thing as them. Serve them what you're eating. What? It doesn't always work, but it definitely makes a difference. Hey, place it on your bum bum. I want. Give me a love. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't like this food. You don't like this food? Okay. She says this about every two minutes, but then she goes back for more. I want that. And you want to play with that? Oh, oh, oh. I do think it's a mistake having all these fun toys on the table right now. Because then she's distracted. By the way, we love this Montessori wooden laptop. It has like magnet tiles in it and chalk. So it's just like the best thing ever. She, it keeps her entertained for forever. And it teaches her stuff. I-O-I-O, go I-O, I-O. E-I-E-I-O? Go I-O, I-O. Okay, we can do an I. And then an O. I, O. She's working on drawing an H for Honey, who is her grandma. Oh, yeah. My is talking. Who was on the phone? Dada. Dada was on the phone. What did he say? Mama. Mama's on the phone? Yogi on the phone. Yogi's on the phone? Does he say woof Hello. woof? Hello. Woof woof. Bye. Bye, Yogi. You're working? Hi. Hi. Hi, Scarlett. Hi, Scarlett. Okay, we finally made it on our walk outside like two hours after breakfast, but we are here. We did it. I, you have to time naps so well. And by timing naps well, or by timing walks well, I mean around Baby Storm's nap. Because if you get him right when he's like getting a little overtired, there's a chance he won't fall asleep on the nap and he will scream the entire nap. So we decided to let him sleep, but now Scarlett's overdue for her nap. But I just want to get a couple of minutes into walking. She just dropped my Stanley cup, okay. Girlfriend, what the mess is? Oh, you wanted some? Got it? Anyway, we're gonna see our neighborhood's like a perfect two miles, like one mile to the front of the neighborhood, one mile to our house. So it'll be take 30 minutes if I do this nice brisk pace. Hence, I'm being, I'm a little out of breath because I am pushing it. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go back home and I'm gonna put Scarlett down for her nap. Storm will be just about due for another nap and we'll just see how it goes. I really need to stretch today too because my knees are still killing me from that five mile run wearing terrible shoes. So yeah, we'll see. I'll update y'all if I end up doing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when I will do that. It's like stretching is something that's so simple to do but then making the time to do it is a whole nother thing. So we shall see. But these walks for me, they are seriously just for my mental health. But the best thing about them is that they are neat, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. I mean, I guess technically this is exercise because I'm power walking, but 
the more steps you take in the day, the more direct impact that has on like how your overall health is. So if you work out really hard for an hour a day, but you never move besides that, there's a good chance you're not quite as healthy as someone that actually moves around all day, even at a low intensity. So when I've been sitting down all day, like I have been today, I really like to get outside and just walk 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you got. So we're almost back. There were already a couple of moments of like almost meltdowns, but <laughs> you kissing the geese. I just like to make this like a fun time for the whole family. You want to you want to rub noses at the geese? So if that means I let Scarlett stand up in the stroller sometimes. I do. That means we like sing a song which is usually a little embarrassing because I'm like singing do re me in front of the whole neighborhood. I will. I'll do whatever it takes to make it fun. What are you saying? Wow. Um, I know some kids don't like the stroller, but I would say, you okay? <laughs> baby can't sip water. You okay, baby storm? Um, I would say as soon as your baby's born, get them in the stroller and get them used to it. I think it's easier to do that than introduce it when they're older, but kids love the outdoors and they love movement. So to me, like I said earlier, as long as you time it right, I think it's gonna work out, whether that's they nap in the stroller or you put them in the stroller the second they're up from their nap. They have to be well fed for sure, but other than that, I feel like there's no way they can't not like it. Um, and if it's like Scarlett saying she doesn't want to go for a walk, I'll barter, barter with her and we'll make sure we go to the playground. I don't want to say it too loud because she'll hear me, but you know, we'll go somewhere fun on our walk. So it makes it all worth it. And then mom was happy, babies are happy.